doing that. They just don't want you to think niggas are that smart to be able to build some shit. They don't want you to know you come from goddamn geniuses around this motherfucker, nigga. Geniuses, nigga. You come from goddamn geniuses, nigga. Don't you know the first motherfucking birth control test uh, was made in Egypt, nigga? The first motherfucking birth, the first motherfucking birth control test was made in Egypt, nigga. You understand me? The uh, what else they had? The fuck the uh, the C-section. They performed the first C-section in uh. Uh, Egypt. They was also the first place where they uh, determined how they, they could determine the uh, the sex of the baby. You understand me? I'm a hotel. Matter of fact, he he was regarded as the uh, the the father of medicine. You understand me? But back then the medicine was natural. You understand? Yeah, thun man, please. They had the first birth control. Now that I'm sitting there, all this shit coming back to me. Now they had the first goddamn birth control. I, I, I forgot how the brother was saying that they, they would no take that thing as a chemical medicine. Your real medicine got to come from got to come from the same shit. Agree with your body, which is some natural shit. And see, these people was very. They don't get no credit, man. They don't get no credit in history. They will try to say the Greeks started civilization. <laughs> That's what they always say. We owe the Greeks for civilization and shit or whatever the fuck. Man, the Greeks were some nasty motherfuckers. Straight up. Motherfucker wasn't that. They wouldn't even bathe. Black people started civilization. We were the first. All you got to do is go look on them hieroglyphics on them walls in them in them in them pyramids. Go online and look at them. Look at the people on them walls in them hieroglyphics. Them people dark as night on that motherfucker. <laughs> Straight up, ain't no white people written on them walls. There wasn't none at the time. And then going back to fathers and shit they created. They, the Egyptians was the first people to also they created the toilet. They had the first toilet. They had the first uh they they created the pen, the stylisto, I believe it was called. Uh paper come from Egypt, you understand me? It was called papyrus, you understand me? Uh what else that was? Electricity. They also invented electricity. See, they want you to think, listen here, man. You ain't gonna be way down in the middle of them pyramids like that. And it ain't got no lighting system. And it can't be no, uh, it can't, I'm going to show you something. It can't be from fire because it would leave soot. It would leave soot on the roof. You see what I'm saying? And on the wall, like on a fireplace, it would leave soot. It would turn black around there. Wasn't none of that in them, in them, uh, them pyramids when they found them. Up. When they so-called found them, when they went in there and explored them. You see what I'm saying? Them people had a lighting system. They even got hieroglyphics. I'm gonna get the picture. They even got a, a picture of the hieroglyphic where the dude got a big light bulb. And he got like an electric current, look like going through that motherfucker. See, because you can make you can make electricity out of uh, out of copper. What it is? Out of, out of copper and lime juice, I believe, and, and orange juice and copper, or something like that. It's natural ways you can make electricity though. See, they figured that out. Ele electricity in the air. But see, once again, they tried to tell you that, uh, but that white man name, the one motherfucker supposed to flew the kite, he supposed to flew a kite in the rain and, and had a, uh, a bottle tied to the, to, to the, the goddamn, uh, a bottle with a key tied to the goddamn, uh, the, the string of the kite and the lightning storm. And the lightning hit uh, to Edison, but Thomas Edison and some shit. They telling you this motherfucker started electricity because he put a, a kite in the air while it was thunderstorming. And the, and the lightning hit the kite and went down to the bottle that was tied to the string on the kite. And the lightning went in the bottle and he caught lightning in a bottle. And that's how he made the electricity. Now, nigga, come on now. <laughs> take it man look at here it's like you got them commercials a motherfucker be talking about if you got an invention call in and we'll help you with the motherfucker nigga they gonna claim your shit they gonna claim your shit nigga that's what they do with a the nigga shit they claim the shit and say they made it. ain't built the goddamn thing what you what you needed a slave for if you knew how to build shit them people ain't know how to plant food man is you goddamn crazy 
Don't you know the Indians had to show the motherfuckers how to plant corn and shit, man? They ain't even know how to plant food in the ground. What you think, man? Listen, come on now. But he showed you how to build a pyramid. He showed you how to goddamn build anything. Fuck out of here, man. This man wasn't even washing his ass yet. He wasn't even washing his ass yet, man. Bless his heart. I ain't trying to talk down. Goddamn, I know it'd be sounding fucked up, but it'd be the goddamn truth. The man wasn't bathing. Goddamn. Don't get mad at me. I Listen, man, if you ain't got basic sense with soap and water, I know you ain't got no goddamn sense. This is what people, you giving this motherfucker too much credit. You way too much credit, man. Way too much credit. But see, they, and they don't get the Egyptians none. They got you thinking them some crazy motherfuckers. Oh, my Pharaoh released the plagues on them. People ain't had no damn, the people, whatever, ain't even on that shit. Wasn't even on that shit. The first motherfuckers I think they went to, I mean, I think the main motherfuckers they went to have a major war with at first was the Hicksos. And they was cutting them motherfuckers' heads off. Them Hicksos was them, them, them half African, half Asian niggas. I don't know what went on and went down between them niggas, but them Egyptians went to cutting them niggas' motherfucking head off when they tried to invade Egypt. See? Because Egypt wasn't going for that bullshit. Even in the Bible, they tell you, how motherfucker was on the outside of Egypt starving. What the hell you think Abraham and them was doing? Motherfucker was, uh, motherfucker was going through the dust. If you read that book, Abraham's ass was fucked up. He was going through the desert, broke in a bit. Straight up, Moses, all the motherfuckers, because they couldn't get into Egypt. Egypt, if your ass wasn't in Egypt, your ass was fucked up. You understand me? But see, they ain't had a complexion for the protection, which was, which was, was to be black back then. They wasn't going to let their ass up in Egypt. Them motherfuckers had to, that white people ain't have nowhere like that to roam and, 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 and the Greeks and all that came. Then they start having some uh, place where they can be all together and shit like that. But outside of the mountain, you understand me? I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. I'm, and I got to, you have to, man. Because it's a damn shame that you didn't let a motherfucker pimp you with a lie like that. Go getting back on the Egyptians. Don't you know they, them, 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 they had to learn astrology before they even built them pyramids? Because them pyramids lined up directly north, east, and south. <clears throat> and they lined up with certain stars and whatnot up in the sky. So they had to know the science to that. See, you had to figure out a whole lot of shit to be able to build them pyramids. Now. How they moved the stone. They ain't no got them stones so close to it. See, they can't figure out how they was cutting the stone or nothing. Brilliant people. They created math. They created math, hands down. They created the calendar. Not this, not this shit you own now. Not this shit you own now, but it was it was something similar to it. It was just about the same amount of days. I believe they had it five days, because I believe it was 360 days on the original calendar. I believe the Europeans had it five. They called this what we call a Gregorian calendar. I believe that's what this shit called what we own. That which is, you know, a remix. A remix. Because the white man ain't know how to count days. If you can't wash your ass, how you know how to count? If you can't wash your ass, you ain't know how to cook. I ain't taking, this ain't no, this ain't no this, man. This ain't no, this ain't no, uh, derogatory, uh, you know. This is just the facts, man. This is just the facts. If I'm lying, I'm flying, goddamn it. I'm sure sitting down. The man ain't know how to wash his ass. The man couldn't cook his own goddamn food. The man ate raw meat. God damn it. Now, I'm just showing, I'm saying that to say this. Can't nobody in that condition. At the same time he was in that condition, you were smart enough to be building pyramids. Nigga, come on now. I got the point of this shit so you understand what type of, who was on what level at that time. Nigga, you was here. This motherfucker was figuring out the basics. When you <laughs> you was building pyramids, when this motherfucker was filling out the ba figuring out the basics, man. Bottom line, man. So see, you can't you you got to get this shit rearranged in your mind. Stop trying to lean on the Bible as a history book. You understand me? Figure out spirituality from religion, because that's where you getting fucked up at. Religion is man made. Spirituality is is. That's just natural, you understand me? Just like my boy said, see, we done talked about many times. <clears throat> you couldn't have had a white person as a slave like that. 
not for too long. You might have got a kick out of it a day or two, kicking him in his ass. But see, it, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have lasted too long because you'd have naturally felt bad. Well, nobody wouldn't have had to come tell you that you said, damn, this shit wrong. I ain't supposed to be doing this shit to this man. Let me look on. See, even an animal won't attack a motherfucker if it ain't provoked. That's spirituality. I'm trying to take, because it's natural to be calm and don't be doing nothing crazy. That's spirituality. Religion, when you start, now see, now you on some cuckoo shit. Now you talking about a man in the sky. You think a big old man in the sky listening to your ass. See? You think a flood came over the whole goddamn world. It's religion. Now, you think a whole goddamn a flood came over the whole world at one time and eight people got off a boat and rebuilt the whole goddamn world. You, If you believe in religion, you think you you think you the curse of Ham. You understand me? Or the curse of Canaan, depending on whichever Bible you read, which means you black because another uh, man seen an another white man seen another white man unclothed or uh, you know, they, they describe it in other ways, just a little deeper too, if you depend on if you're reading the Torah or the Talmud. So look here, man. You got to you got to believe a nigga walked on water. Jesus walked on water now. But see, I bet your black ass can't go walk on no water. Your ass gonna drown like a motherfucker. Uh you know what else you, you had to uh, you know. Just all type of crazy shit, man. All kind of crazy. See, this is what religion. See, you got to believe in some, some Santa Straight Claus up, ass, cause you know, goddamn, we're seeing re a man made a woman from his rib. You see, when I mean, you know, goddamn well, ain't nobody seen no no uh, motherfucker coming from nowhere but a woman. What you think getting pregnant is, nigga? That one, that means she finna have a goddamn child. Ain't no rib. The fuck is you? See, but this what they telling you with religion. So I'm just trying to show you how you got to separate spirituality, which is natural, from religion, which is man-made. And you can clearly see this shit sound crazy. This shit sound like a, the, the nigga, uh, Jesus, some kind of damn super ninja ass hero or something. Nigga, that nigga, and now, and see then, look at this now. Jesus died for your sins. So now, when you born, according to religion, your black ass born in sin. I'll be damned. I'm born, I can not, because see, you born in sin, because now you owe Jesus. You owe Jesus, you like. Now, see, because Jesus died for your sins. And you, now you born in sin, so now you owe, you, you owe Jesus, you like. See, man, get the fuck out of here. Nigga, that baby mama stop feeding that child of Jesus ain't coming to do a goddamn thing. See, that was, that was the motherfucker the one. It sound good. It sound good, because you want to believe something can, some, can, you know, and, and I ain't saying, listen, man, even with spirituality, I feel like the ancestors with a nigga. I feel like the ancestors with a nigga. I know they DNA with a nigga. I'm just speaking on facts. I know they DNA with a nigga. And you just got to know how to tap into the shit. You understand me? And I believe with understanding is bringing me closer to spirituality because it's, I understand this shit a little better. I ain't calling on no white man in the goddamn sky. I ain't waiting on no white man to come back after no 6,000 goddamn years either. That's G. I wish I always tell people, I wish it was a Jesus so I would slap the shit out of him. I would. I would. And see, it's going to be some motherfucking boot licking ass, cooning ass house niggas going to be talking about, ooh, nigga, you going to, nigga, damn G. Jesus, you ain't never seen no goddamn Jesus. You ain't never talked to no goddamn Jesus. See, tell the truth, nigga. Nigga, tell the truth. You ain't never seen, not heard, not talked to no goddamn Jesus. Just like ain't nobody else seen no goddamn Jesus. <laughs> you understand me? But yet and still, you want to keep pumping this bullshit. And them cheering looking at your ass crazy. Because when you see... You tell them cheering about Jesus and they can know damn well they ain't seen no damn Jesus. They thinking you got more sense than them though. So they looking at your crazy ass and they, they go with it after a while. Stop the bullshit, man. This, this boogeyman ass story. This Santa Claus ass story. This old tooth fairy ass. Uh, you know, it's the same bullshit. It's the same bullshit. It be motherfuckers hurt you saying this shit. But that's too damn bad. I, I feel so bad for y'all. God damn it don't make no sense. Cause you, 
you tapped in and done gave your heart. See, because you done got on your knees. You done got them got on your knees, close your eyes, and prayed that it's bullshit. And that's how I feel. Yeah, we all have at one point. Look here, man. Let it go and get you some real knowledge. Go study you some real African black ass history, man. And that's gonna, gonna more than overfill you with what you need. Way more than that religious shit ever would have. See, that's a bunch of hope. Niggas selling hope. You going to church on Sunday, goddamn it, giving money, and you giving hope. Trying to buy hope. Trying to buy good luck. Trying to buy favor. You know, all that shit is. Oh, you tired. Motherfucker done convinced you to so-called tired. If a nigga said right now, they need five dollars. They they hurting you. You you wouldn't even give it to the nigga. But see, you you gladly run the shit down there and give it to Jesus. So it's like, well, baby, come on, man. And like you say, it's on these women. We bless your heart, baby, because we need y'all. The black woman, you all we got. See, but you on that Jesus real heart. Baby, I know Jesus. They done told you Jesus the perfect man. I understand. But baby, Jesus, well, hey, that ain't, ain't never been. You understand me? You're going to have to find you a brother that got his mind right and, and work with the brother. You understand me? That's all it is. You're in a hard time right now, sister. I understand. You got to be patient. Don't just settle for these wild motherfuckers. But you got to come off that. You got to start learning too so you can teach your child. The man too. Stop teaching these. Don't teach these. I know and motherfucker don't want to hear it, but we can't keep teaching these. Cheering no about no damn religion, man. About no damn Jesus. You weakening them cheering. If they think Jesus gonna come all the time and shit you fucked up, and you know goddamn well that ain't gonna happen. You know deep down in your goddamn heart that ain't gonna happen. You you gonna they gonna call you. You gonna have to pick up the phone and go help your goddamn. So see, quit teaching them about some goddamn Jesus. I ain't trying to be funny. I ain't trying to be funny. I just had to get that in there, man. It's been, you know, it's been, I feel good, man. I hate doing this sometimes because I know it come off kind of, kind of fucked up. But it's needed, man. We're going to keep, we on show number 14, nigga. Ain't going to keep coming, nigga. Just for a motherfucker on, yeah, nigga, I ain't gonna stop, nigga, gonna keep going, going, and going, got bigger plans, nigga, going, all that. It hurts sometimes, but see, I would tell them, my boy, that's why I look up to the, the speakers and the, and the, and the, and the teachers before a nigga, see, because I know it was hard on them niggas to keep going. I know it was hard on Dr. John Henry Clark to keep going, because it get frustrating to keep trying to tell you, nigga. I know it was hard on Dr. Ben. To keep going and keep trying to tell you, nigga. I know it was hard on, 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 on a lot of the teachers. You understand me? Dr. Francis Crest West and Walter Williams. You understand me? I know it was hard on these motherfuckers to keep up. Uh, Sarah, Susan said, you understand me? To keep going, they have to keep trying to teach you niggas. And you niggas just won't catch on. But you have to keep you, the love of, that a nigga have for the people. Make a, I got to tell you the truth. It'll catch on and you'll get it out the way if you're not scared. And I'm going to leave you with this. You can't learn if you're scared to learn. If you're scared to be wrong, you can't learn. I, I'm going I'm to leave you with that. If you're if you scared to learn, if you're scared to be wrong, then you're scared to learn. You, you going, hey man, nigga going to be wrong sometime in the process of trying to learn. You're going to see some shit you might have been doing wrong. That's all that is, man. And it ain't no shame, man. And you can't be sure you got the okay, damn, I'm up with you. you see you was doing wrong, you see the right way, now you go with the right way. That's all. Ain't, ain't got to lose no, you know, you still who you is, and you ain't going to hell. <laughs> you understand me? You ain't going to hell. It's all right. <laughs> Shit. We're going to leave you with that, man.